It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. The kettle has just finished boiling. We have some chili chicken ramen kabuto noodles for you today. Without further ado, let's get some water in these. They look really good. So the instructions for this are to, there's the noodles, fill the water to that line, which we'll do. I like this new wave of noodles come out. There we go, to the line. It says to replace the cap loosely. And leave for, leave for four minutes. So I'll be back in a moment. It's been four minutes. Here we go. So there's the noodles. You can see them. So it says now to give them a stir. Oh, they um, they smell delicious. They really do. Give them a real good stir, then wait for another minute before eating them. What I find with these noodle pots is the flavour gets right down in the corners of the the pot. So it's good to give them a good a good a good stir. We'll get there in the end with that bit of bit of sentence. Right. That's an example of what they look like. So there's lots and lots of little bits of basil or something on there. While we're waiting for that minute, I'll give you the, the description. So chili chicken Raymond Kabuto noodles. A fresh tasting spicy noodle dish with chicken, extra chili peppers, coriander and lime. Maybe that's bits of chilli. Coriander, this coriander, definitely. Uh, kabuto noodles are a delicious combination of authentic Asian flavours and quality ingredients prepared with the skill, dedication and discipline of a samurai warrior. When the character of a man is not clear to you, look at his noodles. <laughs> uh, or in my case, look at my noodle. <laughs> Silly joke. Um, so they're based in Bristol, in the United Kingdom, kabutonoodles.com. So um, maybe they're just an, an English, a British firm having a go at making these posh noodles, which everybody seems to be doing from Blue Dragon. Um, I've had some really tasty Thai noodles, Korean noodles, Japanese noodles. I really have from, from a lot of these supermarkets now. And these have... So this 62% egg noodle, uh, wheat flour, calcium, thiamine, pasteurized egg, salt. You want the interesting stuff, don't you? Uh, onion, red pepper, dried malt, dried malt vinegar, um, barley, vegetable oil, garlic flavorings, ginger, chili, uh, lime juice, coriander leaf, and 85 grams, 450 grams when hydrated. So we should be about ready to try these noodles now. I'll get, I'll probably get to the stage. I might put them in a bowl for you to properly see them. I might not. We'll see how we get on. There we go. Oh, the price. The price of these noodles were, they were two pound. I got them on offer for £1.50. I'm not sure, even, even after tasting, having the first mouthful. Because you can buy these noodle packs for, some of them are 80, 90 pence. The ones where you make, you, they're really good, really tasty, the Raymond noodles. Uh, but you, the Ko Lee, I think they're called. But you just make them up in a bowl. These are, these are, these are two pound. Are they worth two pound?
They're really nice. Oh, the spice, the, the chili is really kicking in. Oh, lovely. What I initially thought was, even after I've done exactly what they've said to do with the instructions, which is um, three to four minutes, put, the, put this lid back on, which I did do, um, leave for another minute after stirring in well. I read the ingredients to you. The noodles still taste a little bit dry, like they need a little bit more hydrating. Only a little bit, it's not too much, it's not too bad. Lots of lemongrass, lots of lemongrass, lots of ginger. I think their, their argument maybe for selling these Kabuto noodles for, for two pound is just a whack a load of flavor in them. Lots of spicy chili flavor coming through, lemongrass, ginger. And if you think about them flavours, they're all bold. They are all bold flavours. If you've ever cut ginger, put gi fresh ginger in your food, it, it, it's really potent stuff. Same thing with chilli, same thing with lemongrass. Really potent flavours, you don't need much of it. Yeah, really hot. Really quite juicy. Lots of, lots of juice. I did fill it to the line. There's bits of chilli and pepper and nice bits of greenery in there. It's quite a lot of noodles. I'm quite like, oh, there's a bit of real pepper. Mmm, really nice tasting. Red bell pepper. There's overwhelming flavors. No, when I say overwhelming, I don't mean it like that. There's four main flavors in this. There's the coriander, the ginger, the lemongrass, and the chili big prominent flavours in the noodle. I suppose when you're eating noodles like this, they've mentioned chicken, chilli chicken, Raymond. Cooked chicken, 2.6%. So there is, I haven't come across any chicken yet in this. Maybe. Maybe that's a, a, a small piece of the chicken. Oh, I think that was onion. <clears throat> I'll tell you what I'm really enjoying is the spice. As it's cooling down now, I'm able to really kind of get bigger mouthfuls of this food into me and the spice the spice has got a wonderful wonderful kick to it the ginger and the lemongrass really complements it and now as I've given the noodles time they've got a lovely texture to them a really lovely texture to the noodles Boiling hot. Lovely kick, lovely spice. Got a bit of a sweat on eating these noodles. It might be because it's still a really hot summer's day or it might be that I'm eating. Ah, I found some chicken. Aha, there we are. There's the diced chicken. Tiny morsel. Oh. It's like the chicken's really, it's got a really hard texture to it. It's okay. Okay, I'm ready to rate these. Kabuto noodles, made in Bristol in the UK, 
Do they compete with your, your Blue Dragon and your Coley and all these other wonderful spiced noodles? Posh noodles. And that's the one thing I wanted to mention quickly before I rate the noodles is that for years and years and years we were just dominated by pot noodle. Pot noodle was just the, the, the number one kind of noodle company in the UK and probably Europe. And it's nice to see that they've the companies out there have stepped up their game. Um, they've improved sober noodles. They're probably my favourite, the sober noodles. They were they were really kind of tasty and lovely. Um, but it's nice to see that the level has been taken up a notch with these kind of, they're almost like craft noodles. Um, yeah, they're rather enjoyable. Rather enjoyable. Caputo noodles, chili chicken ramen. Yeah, I like them enough to give them an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.